Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my third monthly review of Modern Warfare. You know guys, I'm not crazy when I say this. I said it in my previous monthly review and I'll say it again in this monthly review. Time is just flying by. <laughs> oh my goodness guys, I cannot believe it. We are already three months into Modern Warfare's life cycle and obviously I uploaded my second monthly review of Modern Warfare last month. But it feels like it's only been two weeks or less. In fact, I was actually going to make a different video today, but then I checked the date, January 25th, and then I realized, oh damn, I gotta make another monthly review on Mother Warfare again already. Anyways guys, I think that this monthly review is going to be a lot shorter than the previous ones because of three reasons. One, I have not been playing Mother Warfare that much, and it's not because I've been tired of the game and I don't want to play it at all or touch it, no. I mean, in some cases that may be the case, but <laughs> not most of the time. Uh, most of the time it's actually because I haven't had time to get on, I've been busy with school and other things in the real world, and the only time I really have time to play is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so basically the weekend, and Monday at times. Sometimes I can play on Mondays, but Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I don't really get on because I'm just busy the whole day with homework, school, and all that bull. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's one reason. The second reason, I'm mainly going to be talking about multiplayer because I have not played Spec Ops at all for this whole entire month and the previous month as well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I know, I said I was going to try to play it this month, but I just haven't. And Campaign, I won't be talking about that as well, because Campaign is a one-time thing. I reviewed it in my first monthly review, but I won't be reviewing it again until the final review, so there's that as well. And the third and final reason, Modern Warfare has just been pretty dry as of recently. We have not been getting, you know, a lot of content, and I'll get more into that once I start talking about the multiplayer aspect. So... Yeah guys, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So campaign, in case you guys forgot, I already reviewed it in my first monthly review and I gave it a 10 out of 10. So yeah, let's just start off on a good note, right? Moving on to Spec Ops, I don't really have that much to say about Spec Ops as well because I have not played it at all. <laughs> and the only thing i played about Spec Ops is survival, but I've only played like three matches of it and one or two were with my uh, cousins. So yeah, it was survival was pretty fun, I'll admit that. But the reason why I'm actually about to drop my rating for Spec Ops uh, this month is because of what I've heard recently. I don't know. Spec Ops has just been broken. I don't know. A lot of people have been saying that the missions and the challenges and all that is just not working or I don't know. I gotta read more into that. But I would give Spec Ops a 5 out of 10 now. I mean, I used to give it a 7 out of 10 because I enjoyed the survival, which I still do. If I go back to it right now, I would enjoy it. But... Based off of everybody's review and complaints about Spec Ops and how broken it is right now, I'm gonna just have to give Spec Ops a 5 out of 10. And again, I don't really feel too confident doing that right now because I have not played it, but when I do play it one day, which I don't know when that will be, <laughs> I will give you guys a more accurate rating of Spec Ops. So again, I, I give Spec Ops a 5 out of 10 because I just, man, I have not been playing it and the complaints and reviews about Spec Ops right now have just been horrifying. Moving on to multiplayer, which I don't really have a lot to say about as well, but I do have a little bit more to say about it than I did for Spec Ops, so yeah, don't worry guys. But multiplayer is obviously still the same thing it was in the first month. <laughs> Gameplay wise, everything is the same. The movement, obviously that's gonna stay the same, and it's okay, I like the movement, I never complain about it being horrible. The mini map, however, or the radar, that I did complain about it and I wanted to see the old radar back where when people shoot they pop up as red dots on the minimap but that has not made a return and I unfortunately do not think that I will ever make a return because I think Infinity War just wanted the minimap to be like this here on Modern Warfare 2019 so that's unfortunate. I don't think they're going to be overhauling the game as well which is another very very big unfortunate thing because a lot of people including myself we're hoping for an overhaul like Call of Duty World War II got back in 2017 or 2018 I should say but I don't know man I think that was just a fake rumor or not really a fake rumor but I think um I don't know I just don't know what happened to that I really thought it was gonna come though <laughs> and uh what else uh yeah, I don't know guys not too much I mean we got a couple new things as well like a crossbow this month but the reason why I said that Modern Warfare has been a little dry this month is because we're still in Season 1 for the Battle Pass. We're not in Season 2 just yet, and I'm not exactly sure yet when Season 2 was supposed to begin. I think it would have began by now if it wasn't delayed, but it got delayed until February 13th, 14th if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but I know it's February 
13th or 14th, something like that. So right now we are still in season one. And if you guys have already hit tier 100 in the battle pass, obviously there's really nothing to do because um, once you hit tier 100, you're not earning anything after that. <laughs> Unlike on BO4 where once you hit, I think it was whatever, tier 50, tier 100, tier 200, uh, you would earn reserve cases, which I'm not saying that we should see reserve cases or supply drops return to Modern Warfare, no, but I feel like we should at least be able to get different types of items after hitting tier 100. And I'm not really saying that for myself because I'm barely like a tier 54. Like I said, guys, I have not been playing Modern Warfare that much. It's just, oh man, having that time. But oh man, this is probably going to be the first time that I don't reach tier 100 in a Call of Duty game for like a battle pass or something because on Black Ops 4, I hit the max tier, whether it was tier 50, 100, or even 200, every time for every operation. But here on Mother Warfare, I'm really starting off bad. <laughs> we have like, I don't know, like 14, 15 days left and I'm barely at tier 52 and I don't think I'm gonna make it because again, I haven't had time to uh, play that much. So yeah, that's another thing. And I mean, I'm still enjoying Mother Warfare as well. I mean, it's okay because I've been grinding for Damascus and I already got five assault rifles gold and I need two more to get platinum on them as you guys can see from my Road to Damascus episodes and all that. But I still need to, I don't know man, Damascus, I feel like I might not even get that this, month, uh, this year because I just, oh man, the progress has been pretty slow. We're already three months into Mother Warfare's life cycle and I barely have five weapons gold. I don't even have platinum yet, so yeah, I'm off on a very slow start, but again, we'll see. One more thing I want to talk about is the new update, which caused some people to reset their ranks, weapons, and everything. And also, I guess some consoles have been freezing or something like that, or at least PS4s have been freezing from the new update. I don't know. It's just, oh man, things got ugly, I guess. So, the new update, obviously, I I'm aware of that. It caused many people to reset, or some people were given the message that um, their, I don't know, their system or their storage were, was corrupted, and in order to fix that, they had to reset their whole entire progress. So, I don't know, most people I'm guessing chose no, but some people chose yes, and then that actually resetted them. And I heard Infinity Ward is actually working on a fix for this, but I'm not exactly sure yet if they already got it done or if they're still working on it, which is very weird because something like this should be fixed exactly on the same day, unless it's like very hard to fix. I don't know, again, I'm not a developer, so. I wouldn't really know how long and how hard it is to fix something like that, but it's just that. That's very crazy. And I don't know. It's also been breaking consoles or breaking PS4 phones I've heard. I don't know. I have luckily not had none of that happen to me. Like, I didn't get the message telling me that my storage was corrupted and I need to reset my rank and all that. And I could choose yes or no. I luckily didn't get none of that. <laughs> and also, my PS4 has not froze at all. So, I guess I'm lucky right now. I'm on the clear for that. And... I just hope that never happens to me because, oh my goodness, man. I'll tell you guys right now, if I actually had to reset on Modern Warfare, I don't think I would do the grind again because, my goodness, just the way the game is right now, it's just, yeah, that would be way too stressful. So, <laughs> yeah, if I ever get reset on here, just know that I'm most likely not going to be going back on the grind for all that again. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I got to say for this monthly review. And again, guys, I really apologize for keeping it a little bit shorter than the previous ones. It's just that this month was pretty dry for Modern Warfare. I have not seen that much since the previous month. And and it's most likely gonna get a lot better uh, next month because season two will be live by that time and that means we're gonna be getting new weapons, new maps, new modes and all that kind of stuff, maybe new operators. And that means that I will have more to talk about for the, uh, the fourth monthly review. So yeah, guys, again, I apologize, but oh man, it's just been very dry right now in Modern Warfare. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you have done it and turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time with the right upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Modern Warfare in its third month. I mean, do you guys think the game got better? Do you guys think the game got worse? Anything, let me know. And oh yeah, speaking about that, I feel like Modern Warfare has actually gotten, I don't know, I don't want to say worse or better, but I don't know, it just feels the same, it still feels the same, I don't really see it being worse or better, no, it's like still the same as it was in the first or second month, so yeah, I don't know guys, the only time I will say that Modern Warfare has actually gotten a lot better is if it gets an overhaul, or if Infinity Ward starts making some really good changes to it, because again, Right now, it still feels the same, and oh yeah, I forgot to rate multiplayer. I would have to give multiplayer a 4.5 out of 10. I think that's what I gave it last time, and 
yeah, I'll give it that again this time because it still feels the same. So why would I give it a higher one or a lower one? And yeah, let me know what you guys would rate multiplayer as well for Modern Warfare in the comments down below because I'm curious. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go back on the grind. So for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, any, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and hoping Modern Warfare will get a lot better. And we get more content for Season 2. And I'm out. Peace.